everybody. My name is Marcus Samuelson, and I just got off a plane from New York. It was a long trip, but very, very comfortable. And I'm so excited to be here in Joburg, South Africa. I have African heritage, and I couldn't imagine a better town to sample and try African food but Joburg. You know, a lot of places in Africa has great ethnic food from their region, but Joburg is the only town I know here in South Africa that you can find wonderful food from Ethiopia, from Malawi, from Congo, and from other places. And one of those places are actually right here in Joburg, this is called Abyssinia. It's a wonderful Ethiopian restaurant where you can enjoy some wonderful honey wine, which I'm gonna do. You can play some pool, and then you can have some fantastic Ethiopian food. Come with me, you're gonna taste and see some great stuff here in Joburg. Hey, I'm Salah, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good. What is this dish called? This one is Doro. Doro what, right? Yeah. It's one of my absolute favorites. And it's almost like a stir fry. You just make it in the pan, cook it quite fast. So we have the lamb, we have the tomato. That's it, right? Yeah. Smells good? Yeah, nice. Wow. So really the key with Ethiopian food, and it could be intimidating if you're not used to it, you know. You have the injera bread, and this is our staple. In other countries, it might be rice or potatoes or noodles, but in Ethiopia, we eat the injera bread. And we sort of break it off, and then we put these stews or stir fries in the center of this plate, and then we dip them all together, and that sort of becomes our meal. So once it's all ready, we're gonna plate it, we're gonna taste it, hopefully you can see it, and it inspires you to come here and try this wonderful food. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm so hungry, and this could not look any better. What's happening here? You doing the coffee ceremony here? Yeah. Nice. I'm Salah's roasted the beans the way she's done it here. After that, you want to pound them, and it can be done either right. Traditionally, you pound them like this, or you now you can just use them in a bl blender. You pound them, then you bring water to a bowl, then you add the coffee in, and then you let it simmer, and then you pour it in these beautiful cups. So the whole setup takes about 25 to 30 minutes to do, but you get the best cup of coffee you've ever had. This is absolutely fantastic. I came in, I was hungry, came from the airport, just showered, went out, and tried some wonderful Ethiopian food in the middle of Joburg. And it really shows how diverse the food scene is here in Johannesburg. <laughs>